I have a vote. And in the voting, they tell me that I can vote for the front court players. They told me I didn't have to choose between Jokic and Embiid. I could actually pick both. And so guess what I did? I voted for them both as first team. Did Joel Embiid get snubbed on, as a first team All-NBA? Yes, he did. I believe with what he had to endure this year with the nonsense that Ben Simmons created with all of that stuff going on in Philadelphia and then ultimately a, ben, a, a James Harden coming into the squad at the expense of Simmons and Seth Curry and Andre Drummond and two first-round picks and all the stuff that he had to go through still playing the way that he played, still having the Philadelphia 76ers be the threat that they were. We don't know what would have happened in the Miami series had Joel Embiid not hurt his thumb, A, and B, cracked a bone in his face that ultimately forced him to miss the first two games of that series against the Miami Heat. Who knows what would have happened because we saw what kind of impact he had the next two games that he showed up. So let's take that into consideration as well. I do uh, listen. He, I voted for him as my league MVP. I had an issue with him getting blown out by Brooklyn and James uh, and, 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 and Kyrie and Kevin Durant's visit there after the James Harden trade. OK, and I had an issue with him losing a close hard fourth game against Jokic and the Denver Nuggets in Philadelphia, although he had better numbers that game. But I think in totality, when you look at what he put forth throughout the season, I believe if there was ever a day to make an exception about two big boys being on the first team together, it would be this one. I think Jokic and Embiid should have been first team, J.J., at the expense of Jason Tatum, who should have been second team All-NBA. The irony of Joel Embiid having uh, more votes, more first team votes than Jason Tatum, and Jason Tatum getting in as the first team guy when last year Jason Tatum's votes were split between guard and forward, which allowed, and he had more, more total votes, votes and points, I should say, points than Kyrie Irving. But because his votes were split, Kyrie Irving got third team all guard. That cost Jason Tatum somewhere between 30 and $35 million. So it's a little yeah. ironic, all right? Yeah. What, what needs to – the voting system is terrible. And the idea, by the way, that it you is. could split guys based on position. Ultimately, we've seen it twice in the last year where two guys got screwed because of that voting system. Let's make it very Clay easy. Thompson let's just, go. Let, let's just, yes, Clay Thompson. Let's, just, let's make it very easy. Let's just vote for the 15 best players. The five guys who get the most points are on the first team, then the second team, then the third team. Let's make it very easy. And by the way, I like, like we that, don't Jay. need to have a third-team center. We don't need to have a third-team center. Why? There's so many good wings and so many good guards. And I'm sorry, like, there's years where you're, you're literally going, oh, I got to put this guy third team. I got to put this guy third team. Yes. On the games played, Chris, by the way, I, I think there, there's, generally speaking, there's, there's, a, there's like a, a, a cutoff. And I don't know. It's, it's, sometimes it's 65 games. Sometimes it's 68 games. You know, I look at that third team. The fact that the Miami Heat were the first team, uh, fir first seed in the Eastern Conference, and they had no representation on the All NBA team. Jimmy Butler had a great regular season. He's been even better in the playoffs. He didn't make the third team because he only played in 57 games. Now Pascal Siakam was well deserving. I'm not. That's a, not a knock on Pascal Siakam. Had Jimmy Butler played 70 games, 71 games, he probably ends up in that third team third team slot. So I do think they take into account the games played. There, there's. There's no guideline, though, for right. is the cutoff 62? Like, we, I, I agree, there needs to be a number. Like, uh, to be all NBA, you got to play 62 games, 64 games, whatever it may be. So there's some clarity there. I, I think I, I, I talked to enough. Steven, I, I know you have a vote. I don't have a vote. I've talked to enough voters. And the criteria on all this stuff is so up in the air. There needs to be some guidance from the league office on MVP, on most improved player. What is the criteria for most improved player uh, and on the All-NBA stuff, especially because we negotiated to have the, the, the clause for the Supermax kick in if in that fourth right. year you make All-NBA. With that much money on the line, there has to be better guidelines and guidance from the league right. office. JJ, just so you know my position, first of all, I completely agree with everything that you said. You're right on the money. I have You, have, you get no disagreement from me, and I love the top 15 players and just call it a day. And I abhor the fact that 
making that all NBA team, first, second, or third team, could ultimately determine whether or not it cost you 30 to $40 million. I'm one of those guys, JJ, just so you know, Mad Dog as well. I wouldn't blame Clay Thompson if he never spoke to the media again. That year that he was held out of being on an all-NBA team, oh, yeah. And, 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 and he had lost out, and they put Kemba Walker, who was having a sensational season in Charlotte, no doubt. We cost – I voted for Klay Thompson, of course, but we've cost that man $30 million at least. We're talking about a three-time champion, one of the top five shooters in the history of basketball who went to five straight NBA finals. And in the throes of all of that, we voted against him and cost him over $30 million. If ever there was a person that should have disdain for the media, yeah. it is it is that guy. No excuse for it. So I, agree, I just wanna, completely I just agree add, with Jay. They I just want to add one thing, Stephen A., and I just want to add, you know who had a great day yesterday? Trey Young. Because because he yeah. made the third team, yeah. he gets that 30 yeah. to $35 million mm. bonus. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.